<laughs> hey guys, how's it going? RC Nurse here. So, uh, tonight we're going to be working on my Typhon 6S and uh, have a package. Let me show you what I have. Mamba Monster 8S with the 1717 motor, 1260 kV. As much as I've run this on the Spectrum uh, 160 MPSC, uh, I've never overheated it, but it just doesn't fit properly. It's not in there good. And uh, I just want something different. One thing that I wish Castle did was include another wire in case you want to do uh, two connectors, but they only ever have the positive and negative off the ESC. But there it is, brand spanking new. There's the sensor port. And what's nice about this size fan is it's a 40 millimeter, so uh, I, I can put any of my game changers on there and uh, it'll work just fine. As far as comparison, it's actually about the same size as my 160 and it's a little bit shorter so it should fit a little bit better solder on a uh, ic5 and then uh, we'll go from there to complement that i have a ebay esc mount i mean it looks like it fits just like that pretty easy then i have a battery queen carbon fiber <coughs> excuse me Thank you, excuse me. A Basher Queen carbon fiber switch holder. But I think that, pretty sure that this ESC holder comes with here. Yeah, it looks like it right on the side. Yep, whoever made this, they included a little spot for your switch. So that's really convenient actually. That way I'll save my Basher Queen uh, switch holder for a different project. All right, let's take a look at this motor. There she is in all for beauty. It's a little bit shorter of a can. All right, I'm gonna go solder these connectors. All right, guys, so just got done soldering. Not the best, but you know what? It'll work. There we go. I'm not getting the jumper anymore just because I'm just gonna run one success pack. The motor's been good, you know. The choice was obvious. Had to get the Castle Mamba Monster 8X. 8S. Mamba Monster X 8X. Here's a better size comparison. So this the uh, this is still a little bit smaller, but I'm pretty sure that uh, the Mamba Monster 8S, the Mamba, the Mamba Monster 8X, the Mamba Monster X 8S can pull a lot more than the 160 amp spectrum. I cannot say those words. So the aftermarket ESC plate pretty much just bolts up just like this. Also this motor is wider so All right, so next, um, so far I have everything in there, everything's plugged in. I'll clean the wires up in a little bit, but we're gonna plug the Mamba Monster X8S into Castle Link and program BEC, everything, and then uh, I'll plug it in, turn it on, and we'll go from there. Okay, so I have my Castle Link hooked up to my Mamba Monster X8S. Right now we're updating. One thing I'm excited for is I'm going to get the Vitavon TLR uh, package. I'm going to get Vitavon everything that they make. Okay, there we go. I'm going to go to software. So current firmware is 2.13, so that's good. Okay, so starting off with basic. For voltage cutoff, I'm going to go to 3.4 volts per cell. 
BC voltage, I'm going all the way up to 8. I'm going to disable idle beeps and data log full warning as well. Break, 60%. Update. Power, start power. Low power is fine, max is fine, reverse percentage. Uh, 50 is fine. Punch, I'm going to go to... I'm gonna go 10%. So this is kind of the opposite of Hobby Wing and Spectrum. The higher the punch on here, the less punch it is, which is weird. So if you're at 100% punch, it's gonna take off the slowest. Whereas if you're 10% or disabled, that's gonna give instant um, power. So I'm gonna do 10%. Advanced arming, one second. Throttle band, I like that to be small. No auxiliary wire mode, okay. Mode direction normal. Um, if we need to change it, I can. Smart Sense brushless, so it's cool. This means um, so it uses the sensors, the smart to start the motor smoothly. But once it's running, then it turns this, it goes into sensorless mode. I'm going to uncheck enable sensor loss warning because if you switch out motors and you disconnect the sensor, then it won't it won't beep at you. As far as timing goes, I'm going to go to low motor temperature cutoff i'm going to go to 200 degrees and we'll update logging we want voltage we want ripple we want current we want esc temperature uh throttle input we don't need auxiliary wire mode we don't need bec voltage and let's go to two seconds and so the more frequent you sample, the less that it'll store. Okay, so just going back, auto light bill 3.4 volts for cutoff, BEC 8 volts, break 60%, power, start power low, max power percent, reverse percentage 50, punch 10%, advance, arming time 1 second, disabled auxiliary, wire motor, smart sense brushless. Timing low, temp, uh, motor temperature cut, 200 degrees, and for logging, there we go. So, there we go. Um, I'm going to plug the battery in and uh, see if everything works. Alright guys, there she is. I still need to tuck a couple wires, but... Very nice and smooth. And then, as far as the servo... Reefs, baby. Man, that's just beautiful. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. I know it's kind of boring, but we'll get her out, and bash her, and uh, see how well this one screw holds up. And uh, yeah, so I also have the pro lines on there as well. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Definitely a fun time working on this thing. Everything fits great. I'm super stoked. Definitely. Not going to be worrying about heat issues at this point with this big old ESC only running on 6S. So, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, I'll bash it and uh, upload a video. So, until then, don't forget to like and subscribe. Mm -hmm.